Okay, yeah, tell me please. Uh, are you seeing the upper limb? Yes. Okay, the first question topographical anatomy of the uh, anterior uh, region of so the. Just one area recording, basically. Uh, so okay, thank see? you. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and uh, I translate your Russian question in it. and the first question topographical anatomy of the anterior region mm -hmm. of the arm. Amputation of the um, arm uh, in the, uh, the middle third. Uh, and uh, how you should answer it on this question? Firstly, uh, you should call the borders of the anterior region of the arm. There are four borders superior borders, inferior borders, medial, and large. The superior borders is a, a circle line which draw through the, uh, latissimus, uh, the margin of the latissimus dorsi muscle uh, and the pectoral major muscle. Uh, and anteriorly, it may be the anterior uh, uh, margin of the deltoid muscle. Uh, inferiorly is a circle line which draw uh, two centimeters above of the middle and lateral epicondylus of the humerus. Uh, and the lateral borders, uh, it's a vertical or a longitudinal line which draw through the lateral um, epicondylus of the humor and medial through the medial epicondylus of the humor. Uh, and this line divided the arm on the anterior region and posterior region. After that, you should call the layers of the anterior region of the arm. Firstly, is a skin, and the next subcutaneous tissue. Uh, uh, subcutaneous tissue uh, contains uh, the um, uh, veins and superficial nerve which supply the skin. Um, it's a cephalic vein and basilic vein. Uh, and the nerve uh, which supply the, ante, uh, the skin of the anterior region of the arm. Uh, it's a um, uh, subcutaneous uh, brachia, a medial nerve uh, which starts from the medial trunk of the brachial plexus. The next is a superficial fascia and the next is a proper fascia. Proper fascia covered the arm on the all side and gives two steps with, uh, which attach to the uh, humerus and divided the arm on the two muscle compartments. It's an anterior compartment and it's a posterior compartment. Anterior compartment contains the biceps brachial muscle, fork brachial muscle and brachial muscle. Posterior compartment uh, contains a triceps brachial muscle. Uh, the uh, muscle of the anterior compartment um, uh, is supplied uh, by the uh, uh, musculocutaneous nerve. Posterior compartment by the radial nerve. Here uh, you can see uh, the uh, uh, no uh, vessels bandage. Uh, this is a medial bandage, this is a lateral bandage. Uh, the medial bandage contains the brachial artery and the medial nerve. Um, no, after that, it's a um, bone, uh, the periosteum, and the bone. Uh, the second equation, amputation of the uh, arm. Uh, uh, wait uh, a few minutes, please, okay?
Mm, okay, continue. Firstly, you should call what is the amputation. Amputation is the removing of the distal part of the upper or lower limb. Uh, indication to the amputation. Uh, firstly, uh, traumatic injury, uh, the diabetes injury, uh, the infection injury, uh, and others. Anesthesia, uh, as usual, is a general anesthesia. And before the amputation, you should put uh, the bandage above of the place of future amputation. Uh, the amputation has uh, three stages. First stage is uh, incision of the smooth tissue. Second stage is a uh, sewing of the bone. And third stage uh, is the forming of the stump. Uh, uh, in the first stages, uh, incision of the smooth tissue. Uh, there are three types of the incision of the smooth tissue. It may be uh, around uh, of the limb. Uh, this amputation is called round or a circle amputation. Uh, you can insist of the smooth tissue um, um, by the 45 degree angle. This, this amputation is called uh, oval amputation. Uh, or you can make a flap, uh, maybe one flap if it's a finger. Uh, and uh, as usual, the two flap, uh, one shorter than mm, longer. The amputation of the um, uh, upper limb of the arm uh, is a flap amputation. Uh, and the uh, posterior uh, flaps is usual longer than anterior. Uh, firstly, uh, you should uh, 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 the uh, surgical equipment which you can use. This is amputation knife. Uh, and uh, you should cut, uh, cut the skin, subcutaneous tissue, and the muscle. Uh, after that, uh, you should um, scrub the periosteum by the uh, forabifras part uh, and sewing. Uh, you, um, now um, the um, uh, surgeon used the electric saw. Uh, it's a second stages of amputation. After that, uh, you should close the bone by the muscle and uh, the skin and subcutaneous tissue. How uh, you should stitch the uh, muscle of the anterior compartment with the muscle of the posterior compartment uh, and uh, make a um, um, suturing, uh, put the suturing on the skin and subcutaneous tissue, or a mattress suturing, or an interrupt suturing. Uh, the second question. Topographical anatomy of the posterior region of the arm, classification of uh, amputation according to the time. Uh, also, it's the same. Firstly, you should call the borders. Uh, superior borders is a, um, a circle line which draw through the uh, margin of the latissimus dorsi muscle and pectoral major muscle. Uh, and the uh, inferior borders uh, circle line which draw above and the two finger or two centimeters lateral and medial malleolus of the humor. Uh, and the lateral, uh, medial and lateral, and the uh, vertical line which draw for the medial and lateral malleus. The next day is the border or layers. Skin subcutaneous tissue. Subcutaneous tissue contains the superficial nerve. Uh, the superficial nerve uh, is a sensory nerve which supply the posterior, uh, 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 the skin of the posterior region of the arm. It's a branches of the radial nerve. Um, after that, superficial fascia and proper fascia, which forms the posterior compartment. Posterior compartment includes the uh, triceps brachy muscle. 
uh, triceps brachiomuscle are uh, extends to the um, upper limb uh, on the uh, elbow joint. Uh, this muscle are uh, supplied by the radial nerve. Uh, uh, the amputation according of the um, times. Uh, it's a primary amputation time um, uh, 1 to 24 hours. Secondary amputation uh, time uh, 48 to 72 hours. Uh, and the reamputation. Uh, reamputation, you should. Um, um, wait, please. I should call the number of conference, my son. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, and the third question, topographical anatomy of the deltoid region and puncture of the um, uh, shoulder joint. Uh, um, firstly is the borders, borders of the deltoid region and more according of the deltoid muscle. Anteriorly and posteriorly or inferiorly, it may be the circle line which draw through the latissimus dorsi muscle or a pectoral major muscle. Uh, the next is the layer skin, subcutaneous tissue, superficial, and proper fascia. Here you can see um, the uh, cephalic vein. Cephalic vein, vein is located inside the cephalic um, notch. Uh, the next is the uh, deltoid muscle. Deltoid muscle. If you remove the deltoid muscle, you can see uh, the shoulder joint. Shoulder joint is a simple joint because uh, uh, it includes two articulations surface. It's a glenoid, a Swiss, um, glenoid cavity uh, and the uh, head uh, of the humor. Uh, um, there, uh, every joint uh, has a capsule, uh, articulatio surface, uh, and articulatio fissu. Uh, during the inflammation of the um, uh, joints, you should make uh, the puncture of the joints. Uh, uh, the aim of the puncture may be uh, the diagnosis for the diagnosis or for treatment. Uh, um, before the amputation, you uh, should make the local anesthesia, lidocaine or novocaine. There are three points for the puncture of the joint. Uh, if you caught only one point for the onset on uh, this ticket, it's normal because uh, you will have uh, a little time. Uh, and uh, there I call you the various, uh, you can uh, find the anterior point. Um, the position of the um, patient, patient should be seated on the chair or a um, stand. Uh, firstly, you should palpate the carocoid process of the scapula. Uh, and uh, step lower one and a half centimeters and between the head of the uh, humor and the uh, carocoid process of the scapula you should pierce the smooth tissue Perpen the um, position of the needle uh, should be perpendicular to the skin do you have a question in this uh, no it's okay uh, the fourth question, topographical anatomy of the elbow joint and puncture of the elbow joint. Uh, the uh, region of the elbow joint, firstly, is the borders. Borders, it's uh, uh, inferior borders of the arm and uh, superior borders of the forearm. No, it's a circle line uh, draw uh, to the finger above of the middle and lateral epicondyles here. And the two finger below of this uh, epicondylate. 
I elbow joint divided on the anterior region of the elbow joint and posterior region of the elbow joint. Anterior region of the elbow joint is called the elbow fossa. Uh, the less skin, subcutaneous tissue. Subcutaneous tissue has the vein, cephalic vein and basilic vein, and um, uh, uh, its anastomosis. It may be uh, uh, medial um, basilic vein, it may be medial cephalic vein, it may be a cobitimi um, uh, vein. Uh, it depends on the um, uh, adult, it's an uh, uh, anatomical um, particularity. Uh, and this vein uh, uh, you can use for the injection, uh, for the uh, intravein injection. Uh, here also you can see the nerve. Uh, this is a branch of the um, uh, musculocutaneous nerve. Musculocutaneous nerve is a mixed nerve. It has uh, the motor branches and sensory branches. I said you, the motor branches supply uh, the muscle of the anterior compartment of the arm. Sensory branches um, supply the lateral part of the um, lateral part uh, or skin of the forearm. And here it's a uh, medial antibrachial and of it's the branches of the medial trunk of the brachial plexus. Uh, the next is the superf uh, superfic uh, superficial fascia and proper fascia. Proper fascia covered my muscle. Here located is the brachial muscle. Uh, here is a um, uh, uh, pronator terra. Uh, and uh, uh, on the posterior region, uh, the less skin subcutaneous tissue, superficial fascia, and you can see the um, uh, elbow joint. Uh, elbow joint is a complex joint because it has um, the three articulatus surfaces, a humerus articulatus surface, uh, radial and ulna. Uh, the capsula um, fixated by the many uh, ligament. It's a uh, ulna collateral ligament, radial collateral ligament, um, and others. Uh, the uh, elbow joint uh, supplied by the uh, arteries, and uh, artery form here the uh, 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 arterial net. Arterial net is uh, uh, branches of the brachial artery and um, the ascending and ascending branches of the radial and ulnar artery. Uh, I think on the previous semester you answered on this question and you had uh, the picture in your workbook. Uh, and the puncture of the elbow joint, uh, uh, puncture, putting the needle inside of the um, joint cavity, indication, inflammation, arthritis, blood inside of the um, um, joints, uh, hemarthritis, uh, hem uh, or um, destructive uh, condition, uh, osteoarthrosis. Uh, anesthesia, local anesthesia, uh, position of the uh, upper limb. Uh, it depends on uh, uh, of the point. There are two points for the puncture. The, uh, this is the lateral point, this is the posterior point. If you want to use the posterior point, uh, the uh, position of the hand uh, should be flexed uh, of the elbow joint 90 degree. If you want to use the lateral point, the angle should be 135 degree. The posterior point located in the middle between the lateral and medial um, epicondylus of your humor above of the olecranum. Uh, the lateral point located uh, middle between the uh, lateral epicondylus of the humor and olecranum. Uh, do you have a question? 
structure function? Uh, there are five questions. Topographical anatomy of the anterior region of the uh, forearm. Uh, arm. Uh, and uh, the piragova parona space and uh, uh, way uh, of uh, pure uh, infection spreading. Um, no, firstly, also you should call the borders of the um, anterior region of the forearm. No, superiorly is a circle line which draw below two finger of the middle and lateral mm -hmm. of the contours of the humor. Uh, inferiorly, it's a uh, two finger above to also the circle line which draw above two finger of the um, a styloid process of the ulna and radial. And the middle, uh, it's a two vertical line which draw from the styloid process. The length of the uh, anterior uh, region of the forearm, anterior region of the forearm located here. Uh, it's uh, mean posterior located here. Uh, the first skin and subcutaneous tissue. Subcutaneous tissue contains the vein, uh, superficial artery, and superficial nerve. And you should know uh, the uh, medial part. Uh, the medial part of the skin of the forearm supplied by the uh, medial antebrachia cutaneous nerve. Lateral part uh, supplied um, by the uh, lateral subcutaneous antebrachia nerve. Uh, this uh, nerve is a branch of the muscular cutaneous nerve. Uh, the medial is a branch of the medial trunk of the brachial plexus. The next is a superficial fascia after that the proper fascia which covered the uh, all, mm, uh, forearm and gives uh, to the uh, radial and ulna uh, the seps and divided the uh, forearm on the two compartments, anterior compartment and posterior compartment. Um, anterior con compartment contains many muscles, and this muscle uh, uh, lies uh, um, on the free legs, or forms the, uh, form the free legs, superficial legs, um, middle layer, and deep layer. Uh, and superficial layer uh, has a uh, um, flexor carpi ulnaris, flexor carpi radiale. Um, the next uh, is a uh, flexor ticketorum uh, superficial uh, and uh, the uh, palmaris longus muscle. Uh, this, uh, what nerve supply this muscle? Except of the flexor um, carpe ulnaris. Uh, this muscle supplied by the natal nerve. Uh, Carpal flexor ulnaris by the ulna nerve. This is the ulna nerve, this is a natal nerve. Uh, the middle compartment uh, is uh, um, a flexor digitorum profundus. Flexor digitorum profundus divided on the two parts. This is a middle part. I'm oh, sorry, this is a medial part, this is a lateral part, or an ulna part and radial part. Uh, ulna blood supplied by the uh, ulna nerve, medial, uh, or oh, sorry, uh, radial part by the medial nerve. And the um, deep less is a, a quadratus, um, pronator quadratus. Uh, I forgot to call the uh, pronator teres on the superficial layer. Another quadratus also also supplied by the medial nerve. Also, uh, the teacher can ask you the symptoms of injury of the medial nerve, ulna nerve, and radial nerve. Uh, you should remember the radial nerve supplying the posterior uh, region of the arm, posterior region of the forearm. Uh, and muscle and skin. Um, the symptoms of injury of um, ulna nerve. 
Uh, firstly, is the tiger hand. Secondly, the patient lose sensation on the palmate surface of the um, uh, fifth finger, fourth finger, and half of the uh, uh, third finger. Uh, injury of symptoms of injury of uh, medial nerve. Medial nerve. Uh, the patient will have an um, obstetrician hand and loose sensation on the palm surface, um, thumb, uh, indexes, and half of the third finger. And symptoms of injury of the radial nerve, the patient lose sensation, where is, where is lose sensation, but where is posterior, posterior meaning? No, no, I can't find on them. Uh, firstly, a drop hand and loose sensation on the dorsal surface of the uh, thumb uh, indexes, uh, third finger and half of the fourth finger. Uh, the next is a uh, um, cellular space, the Pirogovo Parona. Uh, cellular space of the Pirogovo Parona, uh, the zone is a, a wrist, uh, is a wrist, uh, and um, this. Um, uh, cellular spaces located between the middle and deep muscle layers uh, here. Uh, this uh, cellular space connect with the uh, middle palm space. Uh, it means the infection may spread here. It connect with the um, tenor space and hypotenor space. Uh, it means the mm, uh, pure may spread to the hypotenor and tenor. Uh, and also this space connect with the anterior uh, compartment of the muscle and uh, the infection can spread to the anterior region of the forearm arm and after that to the elbow joint or, or uh, uh, elbow force, uh, where is the artery nerve and vein is located. Uh, uh, and uh, the sixth question and primary surgical treatment uh, of the um, limbs wood. Uh, there are many stages. First stages. Uh, uh, first stages. Uh, 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 you should um, remove uh, the artificial uh, things from the wood. The second stage is uh, disinfect this wood by the uh, different uh, solution of the antisepsics. Uh, the third stage is uh, anesthesia. As usual, the surgeon used the local anesthesia local instant migration anesthesia. The fourth stages, uh, you should mm, insist uh, the unleaving part of the wood. As usual, steps from the wood on the one or one and a half centimeters. Uh, uh, cut the skin, subcutaneous tissue and muscle to the uh, fundus of the wood. And after that, if the uh, um, patient has a bleeding, uh, you should uh, stop bleeding. Um, there are two kinds uh, of um, mismanipulation, uh, permanently and temporally. Uh, no, I think, uh, you know, uh, you can press uh, the humor. Uh, you should call the level of the uh, broken of the humor and uh, call the reason uh, why the patient cannot adapt the um, hand. How can you answer it? Uh, if you adapt the hand, the deltoid muscle flex, right? Uh, the deltoid muscle, innervation of the deltoid muscle, what nerve uh, 
supply the deltoid muscle. Tell me, please. Hmm? Axillary nerve. Uh, it means the axillary nerve uh, was uh, damaged, right? And uh, you should know the topography of the axillary nerve. Axillary nerve um, located around of the surgical neck of the humor. It means the level of um, broken of the humor. It's a surgical neck of the humor. Uh, it's the first answer. And what nerve uh, was damaged? Axial nerve. Do you understand? Only two. Uh, only two sentences. Uh, neck, uh, surgical neck of the humerus, axillary nerve was damaged. Uh, there, uh, clinical case number two. Uh, there, a uh, patient broke uh, the humor uh, in the middle third. Uh, and uh, the patient uh, cannot extend uh, the hand and cannot extend the finger. Why? Uh, 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 you uh, should know what nerve supply the um, flexor uh, um, carpi ulnaris and radialis and. Uh, 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 flexor digitorum and uh, this muscle is located on the posterior compartment of the forearm and I say to you the all muscle of the posterior compartment uh, the radial nerve uh, is supplied uh, it means uh, the radial nerve uh, was damaged why um, in the uh, middle third, the radial nerve attached to the um, uh, attached to the humerus and lays in, in the radial canal. And sometimes uh, during the broken of the bone, this nerve may be damaged. You understand? Your answer it should be uh, the radial nerve that's all okay. um there a clinical case number four uh the femoral artery was broken and you should describe the techniques of the vascular solution by karel and morozova uh, no, uh, on the picture you can see uh, the uh, vascular suture. Uh, and Karel, as a French surgeon, uh, uh, he developed uh, the vascular suture. And firstly, uh, he put the interrupt suture uh, on the same distance, on uh, the proximal and distal end of the vessel and uh, connect it. Uh, after that, the assistant tracked uh, this uh, filament and uh, the vessel transformed to the triangle. The next uh, surgeon take a long filament and make a continuous suture stitch one side, one side of the triangle, second side and third side. This is a Karel method. In this picture, you can see the Morozova method. Uh, Morozova uh, firstly make a two interrupt suture and connect the proximal and distal end of the vessels. And after that, make continuous suture. But after every uh, suture, uh, she tracked uh, the filament. Uh, and also um, the uh, vessel transformed to the triangle. Do you understand? 
Yes. Uh, okay. Do you have a question uh, with uh, or no? Tell me, please. No. no, it's okay. Uh, the next yeah. you want the abdomen, right? Yes. Yes, huh? yes, yes. Okay. I change my presentation. Wait, please. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, no, the mm -hmm. first question is the topographical anatomy of the inguinal canal. Uh, topographical anatomy. Mm -hmm. uh, explanation of your cognitive inguinal hernia formation and the peculiarities of the hernia sub treatment in the cognitive hernia, inguinal hernia. No inguinal canal, you should call what is it? Inguinal canal as weak places of the anterior abdominal wall, which located inside of the inguinal region, inside of the inguinal triangle. The bodies of the inguinal triangle laterally is the inguinal ligament, medially is the um, mm, uh, lateral margin of the rectus muscle and superior it's a perpendicular uh, which uh, draw through the uh, external uh, third point from the inguinal ligament to the uh, lateral margin of the rectum. Uh, the inguinal canal has uh, four walls and two ring. Uh, the uh, anterior wall. Anterior wall is a uh, aponeurosis of the external obliquous muscle. Internal wall, transverse a uh, transverse fascia. Uh, middle wall is the inguinal ligament, and superior wall is a um, internal transfer margin of the internal transverse muscle and transfer uh, internal obliquous muscle and transverse muscle. Uh, there are two rings, the external rings and internal ring. Internal ring is a defect of the transverse fascia. External, uh, it's a ring mm, uh, when the aponeurosis of the external obliquous muscle divided uh, and attach uh, uh, to the uh, uh, pubic symphysis and pubic tubercular. Uh, the um, male inguinal canal contains uh, the uh, uh, spermatic cord and ilio inguinal uh, nerve uh, and the female terrestrial ligament in the same nerve. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the next is the um, uh, cogenital inguinal hernia. Now, firstly, you should call what is a hernia. Uh, a hernia is a protrusion of the organs of the abdominal cavity through the weak places of the anterior abdominal wall under the skin. Uh, the uh, hernia has a sac. Sac is a, a parietal peritoneum. Uh, has an orifice. Orifice is usually weak places. For the inguinal hernia is a, um, a external um, ring of uh, external inguinal ring and contents as usual contents as a loop of the intestine. Uh, how can you recognize cogenital hernia and non-cogenital hernia? Um, uh, 
if you open the hernia sac, uh, and see inside of the hernia sac the testes, uh, it's a hognital hernia. If you uh, cannot only the loop of the intestinum and um, did not see the tested, it's a non-cognital hernia. Uh, during the cognitive, uh, no, the steps of the hernia repairing. Firstly, the surgical excess, as usual, along of above of the uh, hernia tumor. The next, you should cut the uh, aponeurosis of external obliquus muscle. Uh, it's anterior wall of the inguinal canal. After that, you should um, uh, separate the hernia sac. And grab the fundus of the hernia sac and cut by the scissors. Uh, the next stages, you should make revision of the hernia contents uh, and uh, recognize living or unliving organs. If living, you should um, return the loops of the intestinum inside of the abdominal cavity, ligate the neck of the hernia sac and remove the hernia sac. Uh, during the mm -hmm. uh, during the cognitive hernia, you cannot remove it of the sac. If you remove the hernia sac, you can uh, may remove the testes. Uh, it's um, impossible. It means uh, you should stitch uh, the hernia sac uh, on the back of um, uh, uh, the uh, testes of the uh, um, behind of the testes. Do you understand? Yes. The next is a hernia to me for the strangular hernia and uh, by seeing methods. No, uh, strangular hernia is a hernia which contains uh, was pressed inside of the hernia orifice. It may be elastic strangulation uh, when the muscle contracts. Or a fecal strangulation, as usual, the older people has the fecal strangulation by the fecal mass. What should you do? Uh, no, firstly, no, you should make the surgical excess, uh, open the anterior wall of the inguinal canal, and the first stages of the method, you should cut uh, the hernia orifice, the hernia ring and prevent pressing or cell Do you understand me? Uh, after elimination of the uh, contents of the hernia sac, removing of the abdominal wall, uh, you should mm, uh, mm, make exit from the operation, we make plaster of the posterior wall uh, of the inguinal canal. What should you do? You should stitch the internal uh, obliquus muscle, transverse muscle to the inguinal ligament. And here you can see the uh, as a five interrupts uterine. After that, you should stitch the medial flap to the um, base of the lateral flap. And after that, uh, put the lateral flap uh, above of the medial flap. Uh, and stitch the skin and subcutaneous tissue. Like this, do you understand? Yes. Okay. And the next is the question the peritoneal cavity. Uh, the vision of the abdominal cavity. Oh, uh, I think I said about it on the previous uh, class, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Repeat or no? Please repeat. Um, peritoneal cavity. Peritoneal cavity is a part of the abdominal cavity which formed by the uh, parietal, uh, parietal uh, peritoneum. Uh, the uh, peritoneal cavity uh, divided on the two compartments by the transverse colon and mesocolon. Uh, the superior compartment contains the spleen the abdominal part of the 
uh, esophagus, uh, the stomach, uh, the superior part of the duodenum, uh, the liver, uh, the gold blood, uh, the pancreas. Uh, inferior part is a uh, uh, part of the small and large intestine. Uh, uh, if the patient has a pathological condition, uh, you should make mm, oh, uh, the laparotomy. Oh, oh, there are five types of laparotomy. A longitudinal laparotomy, transverse laparotomy, oblique laparotomy, uh, angle, and combined. Uh, and uh, you should start the revision from the um, organs. Uh, uh, it's the uh, liver firstly, now the secondly uh, is the um, spleen, uh, third is the pancreas, uh, and the roof of the mesenteric. Uh, the pancreas, topography of the pancreas, so whole to be pancreas located inside of the uh, left mm, hypochondric region, umbilical and epigastric region. Uh, skeletal to be uh, the level of the pancreas, that uh, the first of the lumbar vertebra to the uh, or um, uh, 11 thoracic vertebra uh, to the first or second lumbar vertebra. Uh, syntope, it's a neighbor of the organs. The head of the pancreas has a head, body, and tail. Uh, the head located inside of the loop of the duodenum. Um, uh, the pancreas, the body of the pancreas located behind of the uh, stoma, uh, and uh, the uh, abdominal part of the wart and the, the nacala inferior located behind of the uh, pancreas, uh, and here the pancreas attached to the um, spleen. It's a syntope. Uh, blood supply of the pancreas, pancreas supplied by the pancreatic duodenal artery. Pancreas superior pancreatic duodenal artery is the branches of the mm, gastro duodenal artery, and the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery is the branches uh, of the mm, superior uh, mesenteric artery. Uh, the pancreas is covered by the peritoneal only one side. It means the surgical access to the organ to the pancreas is very difficult. Uh, how? You should make the laparotomy better, the superior middle laparotomy. Uh, after that, um, uh, uh, make an opening inside. Uh, no, no, you should um, elevate uh, the. Um, great uh, omentos uh, and after that um, after that find the transverse colon and mesocolon make the opening inside of the mesocolon uh, and find the pancreas um, <laughs> okay, next this is uh, four questions. Topography of the liver, uh, segmental structure, hepatododenal ligaments, a way to stop bleeding in the injury liver, a liver wood closing. Now also, the liver is a parenchymatous organ which is located inside of the superior compartment of the peritoneal cavity. Uh, a liver, a uh, holotopy of the liver, uh, you should call the region, the right hypochondric region, the epigastric region, and left a hypochondric region. A skeleton to be superiorly for the intercostal space, inferiorly the um, ten rib or um, costal arch. I uh, seem to be uh, uh, superiorly uh, the neighbor. The diaphragm is the neighbor, not attached to the diaphragm, inferiorly. And the gold blood of the duodenum here is a uh, right uh, colon flexor, 
uh, and also here now uh, the superior uh, part of the um, kidney and other cells. The structure of the liver. Liver has two lobes, right lobe and left lobe. It's uh, I said uh, I said you there are two uh, structure, anatomical structure and the surgical structure on the exam you should call the surgical structure. The liver has a two uh, lobe, right lobe and left lobe. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the area is divided on the segment. The right has a uh, five segment, one, two, three, four, five, and the left has a three segment, one, two, three. Um, uh, every segment has a uh, own segment artery, segment vein, a segment duct. Uh, I said uh, the unit liver is a lobulus. Uh, lobulus, I think, on the practical class of the histology, uh, you saw, um, you look for the uh, lobulus of the liver uh, in, on the microscope, right? And the lobulus is a um, uh, hepatocyte which located around of the central vein. Uh, and the peripheral part of the lobulus uh, has a triad. The lobulus artery, the lobulus duct, the lobulus vein. Uh, the blood supply of the liver, there are three ways. Artery ways is a common uh, hepatic artery, common hepatic artery origin from the uh, uh, celiac trunk. Celiac trunk starts from the abdominal part of the aorta. Uh, in the hiatus of the liver, the uh, hepatic artery divided on the left hepatic artery and right hepatic artery. Uh, every lobe's hepatic artery divided on the segment, segments divided on the lobulus hepatic artery. The second way is a um, uh, portal vein. Uh, portal vein forms behind of the... Um, on, wait. Uh, behind of the uh, pancreas, the uh, carpet of the pancreas. Uh, here. Uh, uh, <coughs> and the two veins form the hepatic vein. It's a splenic vein, a superior mesenteric vein. Uh, and the third way, uh, it's a, a, a hepatic vein. No, there are also the two or three hepatic veins which drain blood uh, to the uh, inferior vena cava, to the inferior vena cava. Uh, and the hepatoduodenal ligament. Hepatoduodenal uh, ligament, one of the seven or the ten. Uh, ligaments of the liver. Uh, it contains the common biliary duct, portal vein, and hepatic artery. The practical means of this uh, ligament. During the liver bleeding, uh, the surgeon can uh, clamp by the special clamp this ligament and stop bleeding of the liver. Uh, but you can uh, do it only during the 15 20 minutes, not more. Uh, and uh, the uh, liver wood closing. Uh, as usual, um, the surgeon used a mattress uterine, a stitch of the liver, used the special material or a um, tamponade by the uh, amenthors um, module. Topography of a small intestinum, mesenteric sinuses. Mm -hmm. uh, small intestinum mm, includes the three parts, uh, the duodenum parts, uh, the jejunum and ileum. Uh, firstly, duodenum. Duodenum uh, has a superior part, descending part, transverse part, and ascending part. Uh, and uh, the idea of the superior part located inside of the superior compartment of the um, um, abdomen uh, and the uh, other part inside of the inferior compartment. Uh, the denim covered by the peritoneum on the uh, one side. It's also the surgical access to the duodenum is very difficult. 
duodenum transformed to the jejunum. Uh, and the uh, duodenum jejunum flexur attached to the uh, second lumbal protus by the uh, duodenum uh, suspensorum ligament or retreats ligament. Uh, the next part is the uh, ilium and or uh, jejunum and after that the ilium. The length of the ilium and jejunum is 6 or 7 meters. The length of the duodenum is 24 centimeters only. Uh, and um, you can call the artery which supplies the duodenum. Uh, it's a, a pancreas duodenal superior, anterior and posterior, and pancreas duodenal artery inferior, anterior and posterior. Uh, this artery uh, forms the uh, duodenal net. Uh, the next intestinal rejection. Ah, sinuses, yeah. Uh, the sinuses is a pouch of the inferior compartment of the peritoneal cavity. It has uh, a jungle shape. Uh, the uh, right mesenteric sinus is superior. Uh, the lateral border uh, is an um, ascending column. Here, transverse column is here, is the roof of the mesenteric. Now, the mm, left mesenteric sinus is descending column, sigmoid column, and roof of the mesentery. The practical means of the uh, sinuses. Uh, here, a pathological fluid may concentrate, and you should evacuate from the sinuses. Uh, the next is the uh, uh, technique of intestinal resection. Uh, and intestinal anastomosis. No, I said you there are um, four types of anastomosis end to end uh, and to side, uh, side to end, side by side. Here you can see the um, um, anastomosis side by side. Uh, steps of the forming of this anastomosis. Uh, firstly, you should close the proximal and uh, distal, uh, and secondly, the layers. No, the borders, superior borders, uh, is a line which draw, which start from the uh, jugular notch uh, along or the uh, clavicula, uh, and posteriorly the line which connect the acromion with the spinal process of the seven cervical vertebra. Inferior start from the axiphoid process uh, along of the uh, costal arch and posteriorly the horizontal line which draw through the uh, 12th rib to the spinal process of the 12th thoracic vertebra. Uh, the, anti uh, the thoracic wall has um, walls, uh, cavity and uh, contents of cavity. Uh, the walls anterior thoracic wall and posterior thoracic wall. Uh, less skin subcutaneous tissue, superficial fascia, proper fascia, proper fascia covered with uh, pectoral major muscle, pectoral minor muscle. Um, and uh, after that, uh, serratus anterior superior, serratus anterior uh, inferior, and intercostal space. Now, intercostal space uh, is the uh, a space which located between the inferior margin of the rib and superior margin of the rib. Uh, and this intercostal space is located uh, uh, between the thoracic fascia and endothoracic fascia. Uh, and uh, the muscle of the intercostal space uh, is a external intercostal muscle, internal orthocostal muscle, and middle part contains the ima intercostal muscle. Uh, between the ima intercostal muscle and internal intercostal muscle, uh, the uh, vessel nerve bandage is located. Uh, this bandage uh, located inside of the less inside of the uh, costal um, notch. And symptom of the bandage superiorly is the uh, dane, 
artery and uh, a nerve. Uh, the artery until is the anterior intercostal artery, the branches of the internal thoracic artery, posteriorly posterior intercostal artery, which start from the um, thoracic part of the aorta. The nerve uh, is intercostal nerve, is the branches of the spinal nerve. Uh, the practical means of this space uh, and uh, uh, this knowledge you should use during the puncture of the pleural cavity. Uh, obligatory uh, make the puncture of the pleural cavity along of the superior margin of the um, rib uh, to prevention the damaging of the nerve artery and vein uh, which located uh, on the lower margin of the rib. Uh, the next is the uh, diaphragm, right? I find the diaphragm. Uh, the diaphragm. Uh, the diaphragm is a uh, muscle tender organs uh, and seps which located uh, and bordering the thorax cavity and uh, uh, abdominal cavity. Uh, it has muscle fibers and tender part. Uh, the muscle part divided on the costal part. Uh, the next is the sternal part uh, and uh, the vertebral part. Uh, vertebral part forms two legs, left leg and uh, right uh, left leg and right leg of the diaphragm. Uh, this mm -hmm. leg attached to the second and third uh, lumbar vertebra, lumbar vertebra. And the tender part uh, divided on the three triangles and contain the opening. Uh, the vena cava opening here, the vena cava path, uh, and the phrenic nerve. Uh, this is an uh, aorta opening. Aorta opening uh, uh, here, the aorta path, now the uh, vena azagus and hemoazagus. The uh, thoracic duct, uh, uh, and the esophagus. So through the esophagus, open esophagus pass, and the left and right vagus nerve. Um, blood supply of the uh, diaphragm, diaphragmatic artery, which start uh, from uh, the thoracic part of the aorta. Uh, and the nerve supply is the phrenic nerve. The phrenic nerve is the uh, nerve of the um, cervical plexus, the mixed nerve. They divided on the two bra two kinds of the branches: central branches and motor branches. Central branches supply the muscle part of the diaphragm, uh, and the sensory branches uh, supply the um, uh, serous uh, tunica. Serous tunica. There are three types: is the um, uh, pericardium, um, peritoneum, and uh, pleural. What? No, it's um, uh, the questions mm -hmm. of the topographical anatomy of the diaphragm. I answer it on the question number 13. Do you want not? Uh, what question? No, uh, topography of the diaphragm. I answer to the question. Find the next. Talk. Uh, the next is the mediastinum topographical of the vessels, not the nerve plexus of the uh, media. Repeat, please. I uh, know only uh, which uh, you can see in the uh, tables. Uh, it's a uh, uh, topography of the uh, diaphragm, topography of the vessels, nerve and nerve plexus, intercostal space, 
Um, the next is um, media stenum, I think I find. Topography. Topography. <laughs> I see the question. Mm -hmm. uh, topography of the thoracic part of the aort, operative excess of the organs of the chest cavity. You know uh, about the thoracic, uh, uh, topography of the thoracic part of the aort, uh, uh, you should call at the skeletal top of the thoracic part of where it starts, where it finishes, then the branches. Only call the branches which start from the um, thoracic part of the aort. Operative excess of the organs of the chest cavity, uh, there are two kinds, uh, two types uh, is a sternotomy and thoracotomy. Uh, and also maybe a thoracoscopy if you uh, used the labor, uh, thoracoscopic special equipment. And uh, sternotomy divided on the longitudinal sternotomy and transverse sternotomy. Uh, longitudinal, uh, during the surgical access, you should I uh, used the special instrument, sternotome, electric, um, uh, or uh, manual, and the special hammer. Uh, the thoracotomy, thoracotomy divided on the anterior lateral, lateral, and posterior lateral thoracotomy. Uh, anterior lateral thoracotomy, uh, firstly, you should insist the cartilage of the rib. Now the level depends on your aim of operation. It may be the second, third, and fourth um, cartilage. Uh, and after that, you should uh, transform the direction of the scalpel along of the superior margin of the very I find one minute. Don't you? <laughs> Uh, every time I change, uh, uh, you did uh, what? You did not see the presentation, right? Oh, it's a problem if um, every minute I will check a presentation and uh, you cannot see it because I see the question, I see the presentation. Da. The, I think it's not uh, operative access to the organs of the chest cavity. It's not very difficult. I taught you a lecture about them, and you can find the lecture on the, the contact group or uh, our portal of education. We sent this information. Then, mm -hmm. no, uh, do you have enough questions uh, from the 35? Tell me, please. No, I'm hearing you. Yeah, I actually asked you if there are any other days that I can take the the log. What? Uh, your name? Name is uh, David. Your name David. Um, uh, do you want to try to pass, or are you passed? I want to try to pass. No, no time. I uh, repeat uh, that time for your debts, 16.50. Not now. So I can do it uh, maybe today and tomorrow on, on end on 16. Uh, maybe? Tomorrow you can do it because tomorrow uh, there are uh, online exam in our department. Uh, we'll start. Today is the last day for colloque, for the consultation before the exam. Do you understand me? Mm. Yeah, I do. Because tomorrow... Maybe I, I, I will try uh, today. Oh, day um, 1650. Okay. Maybe I will try today. No problem. I repeat. But time 1615. Mm -hmm. uh, Sixteen fifteen is the is the final date. No, no, today, today time sixteen fifteen. Ah, four o'clock. <laughs> okay. Yeah, four o'clock <sighs> today. It's a time mm -hmm. for your debts. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Do you have an evaluation of the uh, final uh, of the exam question? Uh, yes, yes, teacher. I, have a okay. mm -hmm. uh, I want to know about uh, sub uncle panaritum. How can we treat this? Mm -hmm. Tell me, please. Did you answer it on the question? Do you have a book book of the upper limb? Yes, I have, but there is only the picture. I mm -hmm. can't find the proper answer. No, I uh, just I search on the presentation of the uh, upper limb. Okay. Okay. And the document. Point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Find. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Panarizu, uh, the question, um, the surgical treatment of the panarizum uh, of the uh, digital phalanges uh, and surgical treatment of the paramecium uh, uh, and uh, that's all. Uh, and uh, panarizum, what is it? Panarizum is the uh, inflammation of the smooth tissue of the finger. Uh, it may be a, a subcutaneous uh, inflammation and uh, only subcutaneous tissue uh, contains the pure. Uh, it may be inflammation of the uh, uh, synovial vagina of the uh, uh, fingers. Uh, this uh, pathological condition is called tender vaginitis. Uh, the inflammation may be of the um, uh, bone. This inflammation is called osteomyelitis. Uh, uh, and uh, the inflammation may be of the um, uh, uh, nails. Is the inflammation is called uh, What should you do during the inflammation of the subcutaneous? Uh, you should make incision in the lateral, uh, lateral and medial um, side of the uh, distal phalanges. Uh, or uh, you would use the uh, uh, incision like this uh, um, uh, on the one side and the another side. But uh, this um, incision should be connect um, between. Uh, if um, uh, the patient has a local pure inflammation, you no, know, like this, uh, you should make the incision before the local anesthesia. Uh, you should cut this inflammation and drain. Uh, also. Uh, if the inflammation located in the center of the nail, uh, you should make by the special scissors uh, and remove the part, the circle part of the nail. Uh, and uh, uh, if the patient have a um, tender vaginitis, um, tender vaginitis of the uh, thumb uh, and the fifth finger, uh, you should make uh, the five and seven uh, incisions. Um, the, uh, during the tender vaginitis of the thumb, the incision uh, should be on the lateral surface of the middle um, of the proximal phalange of the thumb and the medial. After that, the incision should be along of the um, tenor 
uh, and uh, to uh, longitudinal incision, uh, the place this is uh, uh, the Pirogov Paron cellular spaces. Uh, one, two, three, four, five of a five incision. And between you should put the drained tube or, uh, or, or gloves. Uh, the uh, tender genitals of the um, fifth finger. Uh, uh, you should make the seven incision. One, two, three, four. Uh, uh, above of the uh, high uh, tenor. I am two incision and drag off per own space. You understand? That's all. Thank you. Another question? Hmm? Um, yes, I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. About the uh, um vessels injury about the uh, um, morosova yeah. um, uh, so vascular suture do you mean yeah uh, muscular surgery yeah sorry uh -huh. okay uh and here you can see the vascular suture and this is a parallel technique this is a morosova technique mm -hmm. now what difference is between uh Karel is a french surgeon and uh firstly uh, he made the uh, free interrupt uterine and connect the proximal end with the distal end. Uh, the interrupt uterine located on the same distance. After that, the child make a knot and the assistant trapped uh, this uh, filament. Uh, after tracting, the um, vessel transforms to the triangle. Uh, triangle has a three side. Uh, the next, uh, the Karel take a long filament and stitch one side of the triangle, for example, here. After that, stitch the another side and third side. Uh, the Morozova. Uh, firstly, make a two interrupt uterine, and also the assistant tracked it. After that, uh, she take a long filament and make continuous uterine, but after st uh, after every stitching, uh, the uh, a surgeon tracked this filament, and also the vessel transforms to the triangle. Do you understand? The differences between yes. Karel and Morozov methods, the number of the interrupts uterine. Here, mm -hmm. three interrupts uterine, here, two interrupts uterine. That's all. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Another question? Do you have an allocation? Hmm? Uh, uh, that's all. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I it mean I uh, stop my consultation, right? I uh, and I hope from uh, tomorrow, uh, uh, everybody of us. Uh, past the final test uh, and uh, we will meet with you on the final exam. Uh, your exam, date of your exam, 72-73-74, the 20th of the May, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, uh, and time, uh, as usual, the exam starts from the 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -mm, uh, the final time and final day you will have morning on the twenty of May. Do you understand me? Okay. Uh, because the mm, uh, cabinet, uh, the exam cabinet uh, will form mm, early on the morning on day. You know, for example, twenty of the May. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.
Uh, and please prepare in their passport or a student card. It's obligatory. Uh, if you would not uh, show us your passport or the uh, chotka, uh, you could not answer it on the uh, uh, questions of the exam ticket. Do you understand me? Yes. And if you uh, should uh, come to our department on the last of August or uh, September and try to pass the oral exam, a real oral exam, not online. Uh, I think mm -hmm. everybody has a passport and everybody has a zachot, correct? Yes. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do I have another question? Teacher, which uh, uh, time it will be? Which o'clock? Uh, the uh, final exam? Yes. Uh, this information you will have in your individual cabinet. I think uh, uh, 8 o'clock on the morning, 20 of May. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Another question? Um, yes, you said something about August. We have to come to the department and pass something. What do you mean by this? Uh, uh, do you want to come to our department? No. Uh, no. But you said something like this. Uh, no. no. If you pass our online exam, uh, but uh, the mark, uh, your mark, you would, uh, would not agree with your mark, uh, you can write the application sent to the international decanate and they cannot call you the date of the oral exam on our department. I think it will be possible uh, on the last of the August or September, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. But uh, uh, you will have a great chance uh, to pass the uh, online exam successful. Uh, and everybody must use this chance. Um, but I think uh, it will be easier than the oral um, real exam in our department because you will have a more question, uh, uh, 16 um, exam uh, ticket, not by 25. Uh, Teacher, I have a question about my colloque. Mm -hmm. uh, I passed all the colloques, but mm -hmm. I got for the um, thorax part a four. Is it okay, or it's, it's okay? Uh, it's okay because uh, um, calculate is a total mark. I think you're five minus. No problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Do you have an allocation? Teacher, we should send you a private message for passing colloque today. 16, 15 o'clock, 4 o'clock today. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's all? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, because today is the last practical classes, last uh, uh, consultation, and uh, after that we will and meet with you on the final exam only. Uh, if you don't have a question, I have to say you goodbye uh, and good luck to preparing to final exam. Okay? Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Uh, thank you, goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.